Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm here in Houston at Break Bulk America. It's the first time we have been together in almost two years, which is exciting. So happy to be talking to our speakers, our experts, our exhibitors today. And I'd like to introduce you to Raul from Musino Transportes. Welcome. Thank you very much, Leslie. It's good to be here again. It is fabulous to have you back. Uh, Raul was on a panel uh, with Siemens and others a couple years ago. So I am anxious to hear an update on power projects from you. What's going on? Well, we just finished the Amazon Chale project. It's, uh, it's the largest power plant in Latin America with the liver major components for for um, many OEMs such as Mitsubishi, you know, uh, generators up to 380 tons, uh, turbines up to 320. So, and also as we speak, we're moving the largest transformer in Latin America. It's uh, it's a 300 ton transformer. So, yeah, we've been quite busy on, on power plants in Mexico. Well, that is good news. Now tell me, did the pandemic affect your business? Well, you know, not really the pandemic because at the end of the day, uh, transportation, you know, it's a, shall we say, vital industry, you know. So we have not really been affected by the pandemics, but, uh, you know, maybe for the change of policy from the Mexican government, going from green energy to, to shall we say, gas power plants and stuff. So... Mm. Is it's that a kind of going against the way? And most companies that we're talking to, countries or um, energy companies, are going greener. Yeah. yeah well, in this case, uh, Mexico is going the other way, uh, most specifically because um, the government policy is to reinforce the current infrastructure. Uh, uh, so okay. I'm okay. guessing that's, that's the reason because they are going towards uh, gas Absolutely. turbines and stuff. Yeah, so what does that mean for Mucino? Well, uh, it's, it's a great uh, opportunity because uh, we have cranes, so we've been working with them uh, a lot. Actually, we have cranes at the refinery. Um, for Mucino, since we do own uh, specialized equipment and we have the factor five, the first in Mexico, actually, we have many other high gear bridges and and modular system so it's, it's a good opportunity for us because we can you know participate on those projects which are shall we say a priority for the government yes absolutely so looking ahead what kind of projects will you be working on say in the next 12 to 18 months well there are a few projects which are going to be our priority the the ones we can think of is Tuxpan and Merida Everybody is working on those, you know, with router base and stuff like that. Uh, trying to find out if the transportation is feasible or not. So we're working on that as we speak. But actually the U.S. market has been really good with us, you know, because we do also have a, a flatbed division with our specialized trailers, but smaller like step decks, slow boys and stuff. So, so we get, you know, some impulse from the U.S. on the import and export business as well. So we're kind of moving all the way to Laredo and, and back to Mexico and stuff like that. So we're really thankful for that because uh, whenever the U.S. does good, we do great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Well, I'm so glad that you're here um, with us. And I hope you have a wonderful show and, and make lots of new business contacts. Yeah, so do I. Please do follow so follow our, our company on LinkedIn and you'll get to see a, a press release on the power plants we've been working on in Mexico. You'll find some nice videos and materials and uh, I'm glad just to be here. Excellent, thank you.